So this video is brought to you by John Stevens Photography and Video. We specialised in doing funeral video and live streaming. And this video is en route to Wire Forest, Crematorium and Cemetery. But first we're crossing over the River Severn, going into Stourport on Severn. As you can see it's a very wet day. Now of course people would probably tend to think of Starboard on Severn on a lovely summer's day which very often would be an ideal time to, to visit under those conditions but of course we don't always have weather like that here. Now it's a very unusual town for one main reason is the fact that it was established in 1768 on the forthcoming Staffordshire and Worcestershire canal system and it has a population of around about 20,000 which covers a sort of a two and a half square mile radius. Very, very wet uh, as we go through the gates here, a wire forest crematorium. As you'll see in a moment, it's a very well laid out, probably the best crematorium that I can remember going to. It's built in 2011, a partnership with Dignity, the Wire Forest District Council. It's set in 23 acres of well-maintained grounds. The staff are, are extremely friendly, really helpful, and they allowed me to, to go anywhere and film, which is fantastic for us because I can use multiple cameras from different positions, and I wish I could show you the funeral service which followed after this. It allows me to put cameras at the front, on the left and the right, so you can see the faces of those who are attending, one or two cameras at the back, so as I covered everything that was spoken from the lecterns, and those other things too, which I had. Now the chapel's very large, it can take a very large number of people and the system is, is that after the service there's a lovely flow of direction here so when people leave they go through the doors at the back and past the infinity fountain outside. There's a lovely curved shaped wall which has got uh, overhead cover so if it's raining it doesn't matter, people are dry and there's an exit where is, which is ideal where for family to thank and greet people as they pass through and if it's a lot of people attending then of course this is a nice shape for people to to line up before they reach the family just to pass their their regards going through there into the area behind that's a very good sort of gathering place where people will congregate talk about stories of the deceased Again, it's partly covered, so if it was raining, there is shelter. There's these Gambion cages with the stones in. It provides excellent wind protection, and it's privacy. It's very smart, and of course, the plantation can grow up that too. Some lovely wild flowers here. Services in the chapel can begin at 9 a.m., if you're planning to meet the staff though, it's advisable to phone ahead first. Their office is open Monday to Friday, 9 till 5. So after the flowers are brought out, the family and those attending, they can just keep moving around, so they keep flowing around and it brings people back to the car park again. And then in the well-maintained grounds, there's a service person's memorial, and then sort of different kind of landscaped areas. Car park is ample size. There's a place for coaches too, and should there be more need for car parking, then the, the coach car park can take more cars as well. The fact it's set off the road, it's, it's, it's secluded, it's easy to get to. There's no hustle and bustle from, from the main road you get at other places. There, there is a book of remembrance here as well. Uh, it's advisable to speak to the, the staff beforehand. There are good toilet services, but it's worth noting though that there is no cafe, so if you were expecting these services, those aren't available. Just about everything else is though. Now these grounds are open permanently. The gates aren't locked up, I understand. It 
really is a lovely crematorium. Some lovely water features here. It is a lovely, lovely place to visit. Now the address will be coming up in a moment, but if you're using SatNav, it's advisable to either put the road name in, which is Minster Road on the A451, or use a following postcode, Delta Yankee 138 Alpha Sierra. It's a little bit different from the postal address, but for SatNav, that is the address to use, Delta Yankee 138 Alpha Sierra. This was taken in August, so there'll be different types of flowers blooming at different parts and time of the year. And the phone number we've displayed is for the office, open Monday to Friday, 9am to 5pm. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video, brought to you by John Stevens Photography and Video. If you have a need for our video services or live streaming, we look forward to hearing from you. If you've suffered a bereavement, please accept our sincere, deepest condolences.